And you think we'll find some animals in that camp? That's what the map says. It's some sort of gathering place. We'll see if we can find our next scavenger there. Huh. We're really doing this. Fuck yeah. We're scavenger guides now. Before we arrive, let's review a lesson from my notebook. Alright, let's see what you got in there. This is what's going to truly make us successful. I've actually read a few books on influence. I'm curious if you know what you're talking about. So what? You're gonna judge my real-life experience with your book knowledge? How do you think these books were written? From fictional experiences? I don't know. Anyhow, let's start with the one I like to call phrasing ads. Oh yeah, I remember this. Back when I was a life insurance salesman, I used to tell people, when you pass away, your family will get the money. But then I changed my words to, when you walk out, money walks in. And I doubled the sales. It's extremely important how you phrase things to animals. That's true, but... It is basic. You, if you want to make a sale, you try to do whatever you can. Hmm... This seems pretty basic. Of course it seems basic. Every truth seems basic and simple. I think you're just saying this to make it look better. I guess. I think you're just saying that. I think that. you're just saying this to make it look better. Well, think about it. Tell me one truth that's complicated. Law of gravity or string theory? I have Law of gravity, uh... Um... Gravity. Law of gravity? That is insanely simple. G-force, that's nine point... something... pulls everything down. That's all it is. It only appears to you that's all it is. Cause you're dumb, cause you don't any know anything about physics. Cause you don't know anything about physics. Oh, and you do? I do. Okay, genius, what's the gravity constant? I don't fucking know this. It doesn't depend on location, I know for, for sure, but I don't fucking know this offhand. What the fuck? Uh. That? 9.78 meters a second. Wrong. Okay, so what is it? 9.76 meters a second. No, it's not. Okay, maybe it's not. You don't know either. Yes, I do. Whatever. Let's just think about this. Okay, so how do we use this phrasing in our case? Uh, what words do we use a lot? Hmm... Killed... Attacked... <laughs> scavenge? Yes, we use that one a lot. Uh, instead, let's use... Uh, hmm... Gathering resources. Sounds good. Uh, of course, Pretty we smart. only want to use this one if we want to soften the level of danger in a prospect's mind. If we want to intimidate him, we'll use the scariest version available. I agree. So, what else do we use a bunch? Zombie. Yes. Let's see. Hmm. Walkers? Nah, Walking Dead's worn out that one. <laughs> <laughs> um. Biters or lurkers? Lurkers make it sound like it can be something other than zombies. Biters is zombie specific, so I'll go with that. Biters? Walking Dead. Right. Oh shit, so what, it was lurkers? scarier than zombie. So it should be good for intimidating. Yes, but we need something that takes away that power. That makes our prospect less scared. And easier to convince the scavenge for us. Like... Bastards? That's dumb. Dumbasses or dead fur? Dead fur is probably racist in this game. Dumbass is just dumbass overall. Let's go with that. Dumbasses? Hmm. How about weirdos? Actually, hmm. that's better. I agree. That could work. I mean, they are weird. Making weird sounds and movements. Well, let's think some more. Nah, there's the camp. Weirdos will do. Wow, look. There are a few animals here after all. Good. Let's talk to our new prospect. Seems Holy pretty shit. cozy. Let's see if somebody's up for some scavenging. And if they know anything about the guild. Am I only allowed to talk to these three? Why is this so slow? Hold up. And I can't do anything about it, goddammit. 
Let's talk to the doggy. Hello there. Hiya. Are you here to throw some dice? Maybe, but we have a few questions first. Have you heard about, you heard the, about guild? the scavengers guild? Yeah, I played a game of dice with a few guilders. Do you know where they're located? Nope. Any useful information you can give us? They are terrible with gambling. Oh, you're a big help. Thanks. Well, how about taking a break and playing a game? Actually, we have a proposition for you. I'm listening. We're about to head out to a... Resource. Resource collecting area. Care to join us? No thanks, gentlemen. Are you sure? You could collect more items to gamble. Scavenging is... Scavenging is a gamble resource. Collecting is always a gamble. He likes to gamble, so he could collect more items to gamble with. You could collect more items to gamble. I've got plenty. Really. Alright then. So, do you want to try your luck in a simple dice game? Sure, tell me the rules. Sure, but tell me the rules first. Okay, you have three dice, and I have three dice. We each take turns throwing a dice. Whoever gets a higher total number wins. But, if someone gets a total that is higher than ten, he loses. You can choose to throw or hold each dice. You got it? Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, let's start then. Show me the items you want to win. Um... Value... Let's see if he likes the vodka. That's my last bottle. Okay. Uh, throw a dice. Son of a bitch. Hold a dice. Uh, damn it. Throw dice. Oh, God, yeah. Holy shit. Good for you. Take your items back. That's all? I just get my vodka back? And choose your winnings. Oh, I was about to say, what is that? Oh, he actually has some good shit. Okay, wait. Mammo Anatomy? Nah. Popular kids book, nah. Electricity. Electricity, I don't really think we need this since it's a zombie apocalypse. Wrench, I see. We could use fixing stuff, maybe breaking stuff. If that's actually a thing in this game. Toolbox. If we want to get in the guild, it would be useful. Or the medical book. Medical book has more value, though, for guild-wise. Anyway, we'll take the medical book. Oh, I can take more. Give me the no. Oh. Over five. God damn it. I'll take the wrench. Wanna try again? No, uh, I don't. I don't like pushing okay. my luck. Come back later. Look, I, I have beginner's luck when it comes to gambling. That's about it. Lovely day, isn't it, sweetheart? Excuse me. It's a lovely day. Yeah, it's just great. I love the landscape sprinkled with corpses. <laughs> As long as they're not walking, goddamn, sarcastic bitch. <laughs> as long as they're not walking. Right. Can I help you, Rabbit? We're looking for a strong, healthy individual to assist us with... ...gathering resources. What kind of resources? Useful, Useful ones. Useful ones. Uh-huh. And what kind of assistance were you talking about? We'll bring and guide you through... A resource collecting place, and we'll keep you safe from weirdos. Weirdos. Who? You know, weirdos. What weirdos? Zombies. Zombies. Why didn't you just say so? Well, Sorry, nowadays sheesh. they're usually called weirdos. First time I heard of this. I told you we should keep thinking about the name. Nah, weirdos is good. It'll stick eventually, and then when you come back. We'll split the loot. No, I don't think so. Why not? 
Look, I'm trying to join the Scavengers Guild. Maybe you've heard of them? I'm not wasting my time and risking my life with you two losers. That's awesome. We're also hoping that... Just a second, Larry. <laughs> uh, what he's saying is that... We're from the Scavenger Guild, so we can totally help you out. We're trying to become members. We're trying to become members. She's not going to help us. If we say that, she'll probably think we're BSing. It's Larry 5050. I don't know what to pick. Uh, trying to become members. Yeah, we're trying to become members. Good luck. Listen, Son of a bitch. This is what they do at the guild. Well, they don't scavenge by themselves like idiots. They cooperate. Really? Yes, and we've been doing this for some time now. We're getting really good. Hmm, then I guess this might be a useful experience. Of course. Plus, you have nothing to lose. We'll keep you safe from weirdos. Hmm, okay. I am considering this little venture of yours. Then you should consider that... You get top-notch loot or fly out of that place in, in and out in no time. She wants to join the guild. Guild only accepts like top notch stuff. Get some top notch loot. We know some really good places. Yeah? I don't know. I really don't want to get stuck in some hellish building surrounded by zombies. Nah, that won't happen. That's why we're here to guide you. Okay, I'll do it, but I want to keep 80% of the loot. 80? What? 80%? Are you crazy? Take it or leave it, Gramps. Ah. Uh... This is not like the other guy asking 90, but 80 is still a lot. God damn it. Um, I can't say this because she's going to be, she'll turn it around and say she's the one going in and risking her life to grab stuff. So you're safe with you us. You know you're safe with us. Yeah, I guess it's safer this way. Fine, I'll do it for 70%, but that is my oh, last offer. she lowered it. Sure, it'll do. Okay, let's do this thing. By the way, I'm Hank and this is Larry. Okay, I'm Krista. Let's go. So, where are we going? The only place left. The drugstore. Here we are. Pharmacy, huh? Yup. Let's get started. Alright. Okay. Let's try- I'll try to be better this time. Here I am. We see you. Door's locked. Okay. You remember how to use the lock picking tools? Vaguely. Don't worry, I'll help you. Uh, one, two, shit. One, damn it! Two, three, four. Done. Nice. Here's some cough syrup. Good. Cough syrup, value 10 in the guild, to others it's 5. Um,. Just take it for now in case we have to exchange stuff at the end. And a few first aid kits. That will be needed. A roll of gauze. Yeah. Help stop bleeding, I guess. Well, that's it. Really? Actually, there's a basement door. Good. Go down there. Most of the items are probably stored there. I don't think so, Gramps. I can't see a thing from up here. We're still trying to gain our trust, so... Fuck it. On uh, second thought, we'll skip that part. Come back to us. Alright, coming back. So she didn't want to... That was a real time waster. Son of a bitch, I should have sent her down there. you were afraid of the basement. Fuck off, Gramps. <laughs> Here's your part of the loot. Uh, that's coming with me for sure. Um, can I take anything else? Nope. Whatever. Alright. I guess this'll have to do. You guess. Bye. Where next? Hmm, let's see. Playground cat. That was another fail. God damn it. I guess we found our niche in the zombie apocalypse. Well, to be frank, this is my niche. You're more of a sidekick. What? 
I am an essential part of this scheme. And you know, I'm a salesman too. Yeah, you're a failed drug dealer. You're a failed <laughs> drug user. Plus, I sold merch too. And whose walkie-talkies are we using to run this little operation? All right, all right. You're very important. Do you want a treat? Jeez. Anyway, according to this map, there's one more camp and two more scavenging places on the west side of town. It's gonna be a long trip, so we have time for another one of my lessons. This one is called Hank Slip. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Here it goes. If you ask enough questions and let people talk about themselves, they'll subconsciously slip the information on how to sell them whatever you're selling. That's not Hank Slip, that's a Freudian Slip ripoff. No, this is Hank Slip, an original. Yeah, I can see now that all your notes are just stolen from others. Instead of overanalyzing, let's see how we can use this. Ugh. The main takeaway here is that we should ask more questions and gather useful information before rushing to close the deal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Larry. See that up ahead? Is that some kid? Yeah. I bet he can scavenge for us. No. We're not getting some kid to scavenge for us. Why not? What's the matter with you? He's just a kid! So what? We'll be helping him. Oh my I god. I don't see it that way. And how do you see it? I really hope I don't end kid up getting this kid killed. Somehow. Well, yeah, but... So why not help him out? I don't know, dude. It's way safer if he has somebody watching his back. Well, I guess... You know what? Uh, let's see if okay. we can help him. Let's see if we can help him. Hey, kid. What's the matter? You want some candy? Oh hey, my god. I mean, we can help you if you can help us. Oh my you god. You know what I mean? This kid's gonna run away. We're not child molesters, jeez. Oh, Hank, for fuck's sake, just let me talk. What? Why? Hey, little buddy. It's okay. You're safe with us. Uh, we would like to... Help you. Help you get some food. What do you say? Give me everything you fucking got in that fucking truck shit. Oh shit! Or I'll blow your fucking heads up! Good work, Larry. He's got a freaking gun! <laughs> Holy shit, this kid pulled out a Glock! <laughs> Guns are not toys, he's gonna shoot us if I say that. We raised in the garbage bin. That's just a racist, cause he's a raccoon. <laughs> fucking around look kid uh, we just want to help you do i look like i need help you pervs we are not <laughs> it's not pervs it's just the fucking rabbit doesn't know how to talk first he's a racist now he's a fucking pedophile <laughs> it's just that hank can't talk with kids this is your last chance whores oh shit seriously what's with the language I'll count to three, and if I don't see some sweet stuff, I'll blast your faces off! Kid, this ain't... One! Can, can we just talk about... Two! Uh, fine. Okay, wait, we'll give you some stuff. Here, take this. Minimum 85? Do I even have enough for that? God. Wait, shit, no, I was just reading it wrong. I'm dumb. I still don't really understand the trade system in this game. Is that enough? Uh, I guess you can't carry too much. Yeah, this is some good shit. I'll just Bye. give you two candy bars. Can you believe this? Fucking unbelievable. This an achievement get robbed by the raccoon kid. kid. Looks like we arrived in the bad part of town. Fuck. We arrived on the west side? Hey. Yeah. The camp should be really close by. Oh, shit. What? Well, uh... The camp is at a playground. Oh. Oh, my so God. <laughs> you're afraid we'll run into that kid again? I don't know. He might be playing there. Shit. Here we are. Is he gonna come back? 